You know, I'm, I'm more of a production person, not a designer, so you're not gonna see beautiful design up here. But my problem is, is that people send me documents that I then need to make right all the time, right? So I get these kinds of documents where you've got double hyphens. Um, hey, let me go to type menu and turn on show hidden characters. We can see, oh yes, the five spaces before the paragraph or the tab at the beginning. People, people, just say no, right? You don't, this is wrong. Do you remember 1990, Robin Williams came out with the Mac is not a typewriter. And ever since then, people have simply ignored it and they just keep typing tabs. <laughs> Two spaces after a period at, in a, or you know, at end of a sentence in a, in, no, just, this is horrible. Why can't we clean this up? So we create fine change, you know, series of fine changes that we go through over and over. Uh, and that's really sad. Um, wouldn't it be cool if there was a feature that would simply clean it up? The clean it up feature built into InDesign, they can't call it clean it up because that would be too obvious. So they call it fine change by list. Fine change by list is a way of doing a series of fine changes for your document. And this is a sample, right? This is a sample that Oli wrote. So he just came up with a bunch of stuff that he knew about, like taking out tabs at the beginning of, of paragraphs. So he came up with a list of things that are relatively common that you need to do. Uh, and he made a list of find change queries and he runs them, or you can run them, by double clicking on find change by list. One, two, three, double click. Oh, that was anticlimactic. Uh, <laughs> document, through the whole story, ready? Go, done. Double spaces gone. Two hyphens turned into M dashes, the tabs gone, all of that stuff just cleaned up. Yeah, that was awesome, isn't it? So, so you all have this feature built in. Now some of you are going to want it to do more, and some of you are gonna want it to do less or different, and that's okay because the way fine change works, and I don't want you to freak out, but because this, is, this gets a little tweaky, but, um, the way it works is you have to basically program it. You need to come up with a list of find change queries. And the way you do that is by editing this feature called the find change list. It's a text file. You can open it in any text editor. And the way you get to this is really important. You right click on it or control click with a one button mouse or whatever. You right click on it and you say reveal in Finder or Windows. It would be reveal in Windows Explorer. And it opens it up here. And there's this little folder called, there's a little file inside a folder call find change by list. And I'm gonna open this with, I use BB Edit, but you could use text editor, you could use notepad. You wanna make sure that you're editing scripts and these kind of text files in a text editor. Super important that you're using a text editor, not Microsoft Word. Not something that's gonna put in curly, uh, curly quotes and that kind of thing. So again, don't freak out. You, this, is, this is actually easier than it looks, but it does take about 10 minutes of you studying it and figuring it out. But the quick version here is, this is going to do a, um, this is gonna search for like a return followed by a space and change it to just a return. So this is a little code that means return space, change to return without a space. So things like that. The key here is you're not just doing one grep search and replace, you're doing a whole list of them. So you've got, I'm doing all of these in one go. Boom, 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 which is really cool. That's it for this episode of InDesign Secrets. Be sure to check out InDesignSecrets.com for thousands of InDesign tutorials, and I hope we'll see you in person at the InDesign Conference. Thanks for learning with us.